bit fumes and in this episode we are actually going to install the passport package and setting up the passport package and finally we will get the token because from the next episode we want to add or post the data and obviously we don't want to post the data without any authentication that means an authenticated user can only create the products okay so for that we need a passport so let's go to laravel docs and here i will say passport api authentication and here firstly we have to run this command okay so let's go to terminal run this command and it will download passport package for our project wait for that you can see our passport package is successfully installed so let's see what the next process we have to do we have to migrate php artisan migrate why is that because we need various things for passport so let's just migrate but before migrate let's see what we need so hit enter and it will migrate each and everything but because we have migrated refresh we have all these things oauth access token o client oauth codes then personal access token refresh so all these oauth one okay you can see everything is empty so if i go here if i run this command let's run this command now go to sql pro hit refresh for this client you can see we have the data now this is the actual client id or client secret we are going to use to get the token so let's see the next process of passport registering the routes so passport now we need to give this has api token so let's go to sublime open user model here has token api and use it at the top by using php companion then we need to give this passport routes again let's go to auth service provider in the boot method you can see it's the auth service provider in the boot method let's do this and again import it at the top by using php companion you know very good <laughs> okay the last thing we have to do is just change this to api so if i close all these things go to config auth and here if i go api driver is token but we need passport ready that's great and now let's go to our postman inside this e api i will create another folder called o auth here what i'm going to do i'm going to firstly say o auth slash token and then it's a post request and we have to give headers headers will be we are going to accept json okay then content type that also has to be json so in the body we have to provide details what are the details first detail is grant type so grant type will be password okay then comes client underscore id that client id will be two how i know i will just show you show you then client secret and here that has to be like this and if i go to sql pro yeah this is the client id two and this is the client secret so let's copy that paste it here and now username it's just like the id so obviously we don't have any user in our user table so let's just run php artisan make auth to register to quickly register our new user so let's go to localhost 8000 and i have not started <laughs> let's start php artisan serve and now you can see it's here let's register new user so it's our third big fumes one two three four five six one two three four five six 
it is registered that's great now we don't need anything else now we have this user so let's go to postman here username is not the name here we have to provide from which we are going to log in we are going to log in with email so here comes bitfumes at gmail.com then comes password and here comes password and password is one two three four five six and obviously if you don't know what's happening here you can watch in my passport series where i have shown how we can get or how actually the customer get the oauth token it's just a way of getting the oauth token so if i now send this you can see we are getting this access token and let's just copy this access token from here okay and now if i go here type local host colon 8000 slash api slash user and now give accept as json then content type as again json then now provide authorization which will be bearer then whatever will be the code if i don't give this authorization what we will get we will get unauthorized why unauthorized because if i go to api.php you can see this one also has a middleware of auth api which will protect any request with the authorization so now we provide the authorization send it and yes we will get the result we will get the details and whatever we return here will give here okay so why not create a new environment so if i go here and in the setting manage environment let's add a new environment and i will say eapi and here let's just give a key of auth and then the error whatever will be the code that's good okay nothing else add and that's added if i choose this environment and instead of doing all these things every time we just have to say like this auth okay and now if i give send yes it's working so in the next episode we are going to register new product so let's just save this route to our api oauth1 so i will get say get token and eapi oauth save to oauth okay so that's good i don't want to save this one that's nice and let's just push everything to github so git status various things then git add all and that's good then git commit hyphen m and passport install okay then that's good git push great if i go to chrome this is the repository and now if i refresh 11 commits is here so we will meet in the next episode if you have not subscribed please subscribe if you have any problem please feel free to comment me message me on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye